Welcome to CSET Biology TCP. I am Mr. Wood from the TCP Academy. Today we are looking at the May-June 2019 Agriculture Science Single Award paper. Now, if you have not yet like, share, or subscribe, it's time for you to do so. When you subscribe, please be reminded to click the notification bell and see all. You want to make sure you like this video so that it is added to your playlist. That if it's turned off, you'll see Leave us a comment. Tell us where you are listening from. I would also love to know the name of your school. Now, at the end of this video, you really want to watch it to the end. You're going to be finding a playlist of all your favorite agriculture questions that you'd love to have answered. So there are several past papers there in our playlist that, of course, would have been answered. So you want to watch this video right the end. Remember to share it with as many persons so that more agricultural video will pop up in your inbox so that of course you can better be prepared in case you need your exams. Let's move right into question number one for this presentation of 2019 section one. Answer all questions in this section. Write your answers in the space provided in this booklet. Farmer George cultivates vegetable crops on his half-acre organic farm, which is situated on a hillside and obtain water from a river that runs through his farm. Define the term organic farming. Organic farming is a farming method that involves the growing and nurturing of crops without the use of synthetic base chemicals like fertilizer and pesticides. The practice is pretty much done using organic means. State one disadvantage of organic. I would have mentioned a couple here just for notes purposes, but you are only supposed to give one in the exam. High cost of production. Organic farming requires a buffer zone with neighboring conventional farms. Organic farming is generally more labor intensive. Organically farmed produce costs more. Anyone would be fine for your answer. Explain one way in which Farmer George's organic farm can benefit the environment. Organic farming reduces greenhouse gas emission. The production of synthetic chemicals for agriculture uses a lot of fossil fuel, which increases the emission of greenhouse gases. Organic farming does not use these chemicals, hence in the environment is protected. Farmer George recently rented Farmer Mary a plot of land adjacent to his farm to establish a vegetable plot. Farmer Mary uses genetically modified seeds, pesticides, and artificial fertilizer to grow her crops. Farmer George has applied for organic certification for his farm and his application was denied. Using information from the scenario above suggests three reasons why Farmer George's application was denied. First thing here, there was no buffer zone between the organic farm and the conventional farm. Secondly, the adjacent farm was using pesticides which are not allowed for organic farming. This will definitely impact the outcome and the organic farm. The adjacent farm was using artificial fertilizer, which is not allowed for organic farming. Now, all of this is going to be pretty much seeping into the water, and that's just below the farm, and this is the water that is being used to water the crops. So of course, the plants are going to be tainted by this water. Of course, you're going to be having pesticide drift, so that, has, that too 
will affect the organic production. The adjacent farm was also using genetically modified seed, which was not allowed. The Minister of Agriculture in Country A is asking the government for an increase in the budgetary allocation for agriculture. So just two reasons the minister could use to justify the request for an increase in the budgetary allocation for agriculture. Firstly, the need to introduce improved technology to agriculture, which could reduce our food consumption bill. Farmers are able to access more loans for agriculture then the possibility lies that better technology will be used which of course will increase production, eventually in increasing yields, and of course there will be no need for importation of some goods like probably onion to your country, pork to your country, chicken to your country, etc. The need to increase food production to meet the country's food security needs. This will lead to produce being affordable and accessible. So if we are producing more, then naturally we could cut the cost of the, good, of the product and of course have the product being accessible to more people, making sure that the food security need is met by the country. This takes us to the end of question number one for our 2019 if you have not yet liked, share, or subscribe, it's time for you to do so. And when you subscribe, please be reminded to click the notification bell and select all so you'll be notified as soon as there's a new publication. If you want to like the video that you may be added to your playlist, that if it's turned off, you still have access to the video. Remember to share with your friends so more persons can pass the agriculture science exam. Want to leave us a comment tell us where you're listening from your school and of course your island at the end of this video you are going to be finding on screen some other videos that can help you to better prepare for your agricultural science exam hsb exam or biology exam to the top of the screen you'll find a white circle with a black exclamation mark that will give you an additional playlist that will make your life much easier in preparing for your CC exam. As I usually say, study to show thyself abroad. See you in the next podcast. Last year, many students differed on their CXC exams as they were afraid of failure due to their level of readiness. This year, Mr. Wilson and his experienced team from tcpacademy.teachable.com is here to help you get exam ready. Subscribe for free to tcp-academy.teachable.com. We offer courses in CXC Biology, HSB, English Language, and many others. There are several offerings to each course. Enroll in one today.